loves America. All right, our next guest from the Changing Lives Coalition, we have board member Judy Stewart. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Gene. And we have intervention specialist Jeremiah Mendoza. Good morning, Jeremiah. Good morning, Gene. Is that uh, Kith and Kin breakfast? Is that getting to you yet? So it smells pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, it it does. smells smell good coffee too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, but make sure you have some before you before you leave, because if you don't, I will have to drink everything in that pot. Oh. Okay. You might be a little right. wired after that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, how are things going? You guys doing okay? All the air conditioners working? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, knock on wood. Yes. Uh, yeah, we've had this unseasonably warm weather that's broken a lot of air conditioners this so far this oh, spring. So. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Glad that's all yeah, working good. good. Yes, sir. Uh, were you able to... Uh, get back into the schools and start really working with the school kids and everything this, yes sir this we year? did yes sir we actually got into schools this year and it was you know it's a big accomplishment for us and it's also something we want to do so it, it was very very important to get back into schools yes sir well good mm -hmm. and there are a couple of programs that you're going to be a big part of mm -hmm. providing for the community this summer so where yes. do you want to start you want to start with the Summer meals or the splash? Uh, we'll start out with the Schools Out Summer Splash, which will be at the Artesia Aquatic Center uh, June 2nd, 20, well, we're in 2022, obviously, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, the food and admission are free. And also that will be sponsored by Faith Baptist Church and also by us, the Changing Lives Coalition. Okay. Yes, sir. So will the whole aquatic center be open for all the kiddos that come out that day? Yes, sir. It sure, it sure, it sure will. Um, uh, Food will be provided, um, and admission is free, like I told you. So okay. it was pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty fun. So June they can 2nd. go down the slides, they can uh, swim yes, around in the, yes, sir. in the little pool there. The yes, yeah, and Faith Baptist really came and yeah, helped yeah, us we, out. We appreciate with, uh, the yes. collaboration mm -hmm. that they have yes, had with us on this pro program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I remember back in the day. We had to go over here to Central Park, and we had to bring our own water. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The fire trucks yeah. were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had the fire hydrants and the... Yes. Yeah, that was... That was those were fun. Yeah. Those were real fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they were. Mm -hmm. But uh, but that's not good enough anymore now, now that we have an aquatic center. So. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, and it's sir. a beautiful facility, uh -huh. too. Everybody so. wants the slides and the, the pool. The pool's really, really cool. It's got that pool that goes around, and it's really Lazy. nice. Yes, but was that the Lazy River, the I think they call it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's neat. So do you have to be a kiddo to swim that day? Is it is it kind of blocked out for that time period for the grad, for the kids that I think I believe so that we are encouraging um, since it's the school out summer splash uh, the students yeah okay. and I think if you're an adult I think you might have yes to if you're an adult you know? <laughs> say with, a, uh, with one of your younger children you can be there yeah yes. but the children are free yes so it's Excellent. all for the children so you know but if you're an adult and you want to swim which I might swim so I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. with the kiddos yeah yes sir yes sir they, they always love that so be a lot of fun yes sir all right so mark your calendars on that one that's a Thursday June 2nd 6 30 to 8 30 p.m. and again that's sponsored by the Changing Lives Coalition and Faith Baptist Church and no cost for the kiddos to no cost no cost come no cost. in and do yes, that sir. now another major project for the Changing Lives Coalition is the summer meal program yes and, sir the uh, summer meal program um so it'll be on starting June 1st which will be a, a well, June 1st is what well, would be a Wednesday okay so it'd be a Wednesday which will be from 12 to 1 30 and that's from ages 1 through 18 okay free lunch Free lunch. Yes, sir. Every day of the week? or Every day of the week, Monday, Monday through, through Friday. Friday. Monday yes. through Friday. Yes, okay. sir. Well, that's good. Yes, sir. And uh, who, who? how much does that cost? That is free. Free. Well, it says free lunch. So. Yes, sir. Free lunch. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I've been told my whole life there's no such thing as a free lunch. But this one obviously is. And if you're an adult, um, say if you're past eight, well, 18 considered adult. If you're 19 and above, let's say you, it's I think it's about $4, I believe. Okay to buy a lunch so which is pretty cost economical mm -hmm. so but it's very uh it's very important that we serve the kids you know this summer and that nobody goes hungry you know especially exactly. ages 1 through 18 <laughs> that's important for their growth and their health so absolutely yes sir and Is i there... believe during covid they did the drive-through lunches 
at yes, the sir. center, but this year they are back to allowing them to come into the center, get their meals, and eat. Yes, the, everything will be eaten on site. You cannot take the meal outside of the facility, which will be at the Artesia Center. Okay. So, yes, sir. So it's kind of like back to the way it was before the pandemic. Yes, yes. sir. Last year we did drive through at the first of the month, and oh, wow, that's, I think we had like 330 meals one day, which was through, through drive through. Mm -hmm. Just crazy, but. You know, as long as we're serving, you know, yeah, that's, exactly that's all that like matters. you said, as yes, long as there aren't any children going hungry. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's, uh, now, how how does the uh, Changing Love Lives Coalition? Do you get funding for this? Do you get support from the state or from the city? Or? It's from the state, mm -hmm. yes, sir. It is a state funded program. Uh, we have to, you know, meet a criteria, and also we'd have to um, uh, abide by, you know, what they want us to give, what us to offer. Um, everybody gets a milk. Everybody gets, you know, if you don't want the milk, well, that's up to you. You, but everybody gets the milk. Okay, and so that's just part of the the state program. Uh, they've been very good with us this year, and uh, by lifting them, uh, the they lifted the COVID rules, like Judy was saying. So now on site, we get to see the kids. We don't get to, you know, we also get to visit with them, and it's important to our program. So yes, sir. So are you guys going to be behind the counter cooking the food or preparing the food, or do you have a crew that comes in and handles it? We that? have a crew. We have a crew from the schools that uh, Paulina and uh, what's her, Maria. I forgot their last names, but they, they're awesome. They're good cooks. They cook for the schools, and they also they cooked with us last year, and they're really good co cooks. So mm -hmm. I encourage everybody to come out. And I take it the uh, menu is uh, very nutritional. Yes, I sir. I started with the milk, which is obviously yes, very important, but I'm sure... Mm -hmm. with lots of fresh fruits, lots of main courses are very nutritional, but it's still going to be good food. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is there an actual menu that they have for each day? Uh, we, sh we, we have created a menu. And I think uh, you have posted it. Yeah, on we have posted the Facebook it on website. the Facebook website, which should be on Changing Lives Coalition. If you go to our Facebook page, so yeah, okay. we sh we should have a, a menu on there. Um, actually, today I think we're supposed to make our first order. Oh wow! Food. So it's, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our staff is very diligent about uh, meeting the requirements, getting the necessary training from the state, working closely with the state to make sure that they are meeting all of their guidelines so that the program can continue from year to year. And then the other thing they do um, accept are any volunteers. They've yes. had volunteers that will go and help them serve the meals. Okay, so you're looking for volunteers too. Mm -hmm. yes, um, I'm sure that they volunteer doesn't have to be there like every day no, sir. the no, entire sir. summer so maybe there's a week or two that you want to help <laughs> out that would be that yeah, would be helpful would be great uh, any you know it could be two days a week one day a week it doesn't matter as long as you know volunteers always mm -hmm. are encouraged yeah so. i know the chase foundation has taken mm -hmm. some of the students to help and there have been some other groups yes, as well sir. that yeah. have gone mm -hmm. well that's yes, great sir. because uh, there i know there's there's a big emphasis on uh, the scholarship recipients coming yes, back sir. and uh, giving back to the community that has, yes, uh, you know, been so beneficial to them in their education. So, yes, sir. good. Mm -hmm. Get them in there and, you know, yes, sir. Yeah. put them on uh, KP duty. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, and they're good for the most part. They, they, they catch on real quickly. So, okay. Yes, sir. Well, good. Well, I'll have because we'll get to the summertime. We like, like right now we're doing the school lunch menus every day. Uh -huh. which is the school lunch menu and the senior center menu. Okay. Um, so we'll need to get a hold of that, uh, yes, get a hold of that menu we, yeah, so we, we can... We could get you a menu. Now, are there other activities that will take place? Uh, is that Louis' department that has activities going on at the center while the lunches are going on? Yes, or do sir. you guys have any uh, activities planned? Uh, not necessarily this year, just the summer meals. Um, we also serve the kids there also for mm -hmm. the Artesia Rec, which still have a summer program. Okay. And it's it's also they they eat as well. They're of course they're of age to eat, and if they if they want to take their lunch, that's on them. But if they want to eat, it's also encouraged for them to eat also. Excellent, yes, excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Just make sure that Louis doesn't get his clown costume out because he'll scare the kids away <laughs> with that thing. And, uh, you know, yeah. He, need, he needs to not. 
he needs to stop that. He needs to. You know. <laughs> He's probably hearing right now. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. That's well, that's funny. great. So the so that starts on Wednesday, uh, June first, and it goes through July 29th. So that should pretty well fill the gap between, uh, for the most part, because like yes. the, the uh, school lunches end Thursday of this week. Yes, and sir. then they'll pick up on Wednesday of uh, next week. Yes, sir. At, yes, sir. June uh, 1st, 12 o'clock. Yes, sir. 12 to 1.30. Uh, it's encouraged that everybody goes. Uh, we're pretty friendly. We're real, actually really friendly over there. <laughs> so I think, you know, don't be scared to go. You know, we're, right. not, we're not like, hey, get a lunch, you know. <laughs> So from the for, at the coalition at your at your regular building regular programs other yes, than these uh, programs do you have anything else going on during the summer months for kids or yeah, uh, we have our uh, star Span spangled dash which will be July fourth um, uh, that will be uh, pre registrations thirty dollars for adults and fifteen dollars for ages six to seventeen uh, I heard this year is going to be a lots of things going on at the July fourth uh, at J C Park uh, we. Um, Everybody will check in. We'll get a T-shirt. Uh, opening ceremony will be at 8 o'clock, and races will be at 8.15. And please don't go at 8.15 p.m., 8.15 in the morning. Because <laughs> we won't be there. <laughs> but uh, there will be fireworks. But, yeah, uh, that, that's what we have going this summer. Our Star Spangled Dash is really huge. It's really going to be a more of a... It's a family-based dash. It's if the kid, it's not nothing's timed. It's just more of a good time, and also you know you you meet cool people. You you have you just incur and you you know it's just real fun for the community. Yes, and sir. this is one of the uh, big fundraisers for them as yes. well because yes. a lot of their funds come from their fundraising events yes, and sir. grant yes, writing. Sir. Spoken like a true board member. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. It's very encouraged. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, the Changing Lives Coalition funding comes from from where? Are there is there foundational support? Is there United Way support? How how do folks help uh, fund the programs that you're able to offer? We do get we we got United Way. Um, there are quite um, a few different ways. For example, um, there is. Um, the Artesia Juvenile Advisory Committee, which is kind of an umbrella for their program. And Summer provides in-house services for um, AJAC. And so we do receive some funding uh, from the city, and that's part of it, is her in-kind services. And she works closely with uh, Jade in reporting numbers to the state CYFD office where we also receive funding. And then again, Jade, uh, as executive director, spends quite a bit of time writing grants, um, getting out there, and uh, helping get financial support to mm -hmm. run the programs. Okay. And so we talked about the, the school, the summer meal program, this, like the school's mm -hmm. outsplash. What are, during the school year, what are some of the other programs that uh, Changing Lives Coalition is able to provide for Oh, school kids. We provide uh, JJAC, which is JJAC groups in the schools, which is mentoring groups. Um, we, we range from grades third to fifth grade. Um, we we also do uh, 702 after school, which is our after school program, which provides to at risk youth. Um, we give them life skills. We uh, help them with their homework. Uh, we have. Uh, we have, you know, we have conversations. If they want to talk to us, we have an open door policy, so they can talk to us, and we could, you know, discuss what what we'll, we need to have a plan of action with them. And um, we we also just we have to give them an, another outlet, another mentoring, uh, someone they can look up to, up to outside of their homes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So because they may not feel comfortable having conversations about what's going on at school and so forth at home, maybe the family situation yes, is such that yes, they, sir. they just need somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. and yes, sir. They don't want to have it at the school, so yes. this is off campus and uh, yes, sir. place for them to do that. Mm -hmm. yes, and sir. one of the things we were excited about this year, Gene, is that they were able to go in and meet with high school staff and actually Jeremiah. Uh, ran a boys group mm -hmm. at the high school and that's a first for uh, the organization so that was exciting and yes, it seemed sir. to really go well okay um, I've been there sometimes after school and so mm -hmm. I see how hard they work and they've got the kids on task uh, sometimes one of them is in the kitchen 
preparing food because they feed the kids mm -hmm. after yes, school sir. with a yes, little sir. snack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, uh, so um, they're very well organized in order to get that done. And I've observed the kids to be well behaved as they're sitting in the kitchen, uh, enjoying a meal, visiting with the staff, and then um, in the group room working. I, I bet a lot of them figure out or find out or learn that meals don't have to come from a box <laughs> or a drive through right. <laughs> You can actually sit in the kitchen and, uh, yes, sir. and uh, do that. And hopefully that's something that they can bring to their family or at least yes, uh, have yes. that going in their family. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Well, that is fantastic. Um, we've got about a minute left. Was there anything else that we need to cover today or? Uh, no. I think we just want to give a thank you to yes, everyone that supports the program, uh, whether it's through donations, volunteer time, um, suggestions, but we really do appreciate yes, the sir. collaboration that we are receiving from everyone. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. So we have board member Judy Stewart, and we have intervention specialist Jeremiah Mendoza. The Schools Out Summer Splash is on Thursday, June 2nd at the Aquatic Center at 6 30 p.m. and the summer meal program gets started on Wednesday June 1st noon to 1 30 at the Artesia Center so yes, I think sir. we've got it all covered well thanks yes, for sir. coming in we appreciate it thank you Gene we you, appreciate it you also. picked a good day we've got some sandwiches here and some coffee so oh yeah it's there calling you it's calling <laughs> yes, you right sir. now thank all you, right Gene. thank you thank appreciate you. it